This is a Woburn Public Media Center production. Woburn's local public access television station. So welcome to Open House. This is the beginning of the 12th season of this public policy series. And we're beginning tonight with something new. We're in a new location. The depot, the historic depot, uh, which was the train station for Lexington Center, is now the headquarters for the Lexington Historical Society. And uh, the other partner that is new this year is the Woburn Public Media Center. And I want to extend a particular thank you to the Woburn Public Media Center for taking over all the production of this, uh, pr of this forum. Tonight's topic is what do you want from your legislators? And those of you here tonight are going to shape the agenda. People need boundaries and countries need boundaries or they, uh, they lose their integrity. I'm, I'm a bit taken aback by the leveling of all of the world's problems on immigrants that you've just really dumped on them. Everything to cl from climate change to the cost of existence here in Massachusetts. Um, so I'll start with where you started. You're just dead wrong on the science on climate change if you're going to try to blame it on our burgeoning population of immigrants. Our topic tonight is global warming. And the questions that we hope that you will discuss with us is, is there such a thing as global warming? There are some among us who dismiss the notion. Um, what are the consequences? And more importantly, what can we do about it? What can we as a society do about it? And what can we as individuals do about it? Well, speaking as an economist, I, I will defer to the scientists on this issue. But I think uh, all of us as citizens, scientists, whatever our, our walk of life, uh, are starting to see that the scientific consensus is quite overwhelming on this issue. The most recent IPCC reports that have come out in the last couple of months uh, clearly established that human uh, sources of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases are clearly responsible for the climate change that we're already seeing underway. If I would, I would ask you to respond to the assertion that we're doing very well in this country. Yeah. That's certainly that's certainly not a universally held belief. But uh... well, it, it's it's a uh, it's a question that that there's, deserves uh, a nuanced answer because I I, I think in one sense. Uh, one could look at the U.S. track record and say it's been abysmal. Well, let me thank you both. Um, <laughs> I'm very honored to have as my guest for this, as we are honored to have as our guest for this evening, Rabbi Michael Lerner. I really appreciate so much of what you talk about. And I wanted you to maybe talk about um, a big problem I see, which almost the numbness of America, the, the anesthetic quality of consumerism and television and, and all these um, uh, ideas that you have. I've read the book and I love them, but it feels like such a huge um, wall ahead of us in terms of the consumer culture. How do you combat that? The book you're talking about is the book that I wrote this past year, I take it, The Left Hand of God. It's just come out in paperback now. And I recommend it to one and all. Go for your highest vision because you can change reality, not just adjust to reality. Don't be realistic. Go for your highest vision. I hate. Welcome sports fans, live here from Bank North Garden, 
where the Wuben Tannas are going to be facing the Duxbury Dragons in the Division I Championship. Quite a ride this season, it's sports fans. Should be quite a game. Wuben's coming off some emotional victories. They're getting great senior leadership, great goaltending. Uh, they faced this Duxbury team two years ago in the Division I championship and they just fell short and I think the boys Mr. Holland and Mr. Fairweather, Mr. McLeod, Mr. Smith, uh, Mr. DePinto, they want some revenge here so I'm sure that's on their mind. Yeah but they, they certainly I think Wubin's coming in as a little bit of a favorite. Corey the nice job there one handed it up to Melanson. Gonna come back with a possible three on three. Good defense by Duxbury at the blue line. There's Johnny Rennett is popping Duxbury right there. Wow. Trevor Davis is going to send it in. Ruben's going to change the D. Matt McLeod and Brian Smith out there. Nice work there by Harrington. Wreaking havoc along those boards. That's what he does best. Throwing his body around. Ten seconds left on the Ruben power play. Still got six seconds left on this power play though. Going back to Smith. Right over to Corey Deva. He can fire it. Yeah, the ball, Corey Deva. Tipped in front along the way, I believe, by either Jared Dabrio. But Corey Deva with up. another big playoff. If he didn't get the goal, he got a big assist there anyway. And Wolven's on the board, sports fans. one nothing. So at the end of one period, Wuben leads one to nothing on a Corey Dever goal with the assist to, to Brian Smith, and I think they should add Michael Harrington on that as he won the faceoff. Flicks it out to McManus. McManus out to DePinto. We got a two-on-one here. Bobby Holland trying to get open. Oh, pass was just behind him. All important faceoff. Render controls. Corey Dever trying to eat in the corner and eat, eat up that clock. That's going to do it here in the second period. I think that uh, Coach Duran has recognized that Duxbury's really gone to an aggressive forecheck. So that he's got some of the wings trying to poke the puck up high and sneak uh, sneak some moving guys away. There are a couple. You're right, Kevin. There are a couple passes away from a couple of a breakaway or two right there. Yeah. Uh, Bobby Holland just missed one time, and uh, Kyle Fuller is wide open. Another just went by his stick. Right, and uh, Mike Melanson with uh, Johnny Renda had a had a pretty good opportunity there as well too. So. It's after two periods, sports fans. Wilbin holding on on one nothing lead. Hopefully they'll come back with uh, a lot of that juice they finished with in these other games, and we'll be looking at a state championship, and uh, we'll be back shortly with faces in the crowd. We open the third period with the first line for Wilbin, DePinto, Holland, and McManus with McDonough and McLeod on defense. Our play-by-play -play man, Kevin McDonough. Mike Harrington on the faceoff. Oh, trickles in behind Fairweather. He's saying it's a goal. It did trickle just in behind Kevin Fairweather. Comes Carroll the other side on McDonough. Moves around the cloud. Oh, what a play by Duxbury right there. Oh, nice work there, Renda. Oh, just missed. Foley on the backhand, loose puck, Melanson. Oh, Mike Melanson. Mike Melanson with a beautiful goal. 7.36 to go. Ruben ties it up here. Way to answer the second line. They have been all over the ice all night. Brian Smith back behind. Kevin Fairweather. Oh, stolen right there in the middle. What a stay there. Who's puck Fairweather? Save, glove save by Fairweather. Oh, 32 seconds to go. Duxbury with a heartbreaking goal right there.
Duxbury clears it out with 15 seconds left. McDonough up to McLeod. He dumps it in deep. 10 seconds left. Ruben looking to get the puck in front for one last opportunity. Centering pass. Save. Rebound. Save. Oh, what a chance Ruben had right there at the end. How it didn't go in, I'll never know. 